We asked a group of people a couple of simple questions. If India's total wealth and property were divided equally amongst all the families in the country, how much wealth will each family end up with? 35,000 rupees, 60,000 rupees, 1 lakh 50,000 rupees, 3 lakh 25,000 rupees, 9 lakh rupees. Most people selected 3 lakh 25,000. But you know what? It is actually around 9 lakh. To be precise, if all the wealth were divided equally, then each family would get 9 lakh. That's enough to buy one or two room pakka house with running water, electricity, a TV, mobile phones, as well as a second hand car or new motorcycle. Now we all know that a vast majority of Indians do not own all of this. So where is all this wealth going? Let's divide India's families in deciles. That is chunks of 10-10%. Now let's equally distribute India's total wealth to each of these 10% groups. India's total private wealth is 224 trillion rupees. Each decile group gets 22.4 trillion rupees. Each family in each group would get rupees 9 lakh. Now let's switch to reality. This is how the wealth is actually distributed. Only this one group owns more than 9 lakh. What does that mean? That means 90% of the families do not own what should have been the average. Forget about 9 lakhs. Almost 70% of families don't even own 3 lakh 25,000 worth of wealth and property. That's just about enough to have a small house in a village with a second-hand motorbike, some farm equipment, basic electronics, a hand pump and electricity. You know, the most basic requirements of life. But hang on. That's not the full story. It's not just that the top 10% have three-fourths of all the wealth. The top 1% have half of all the wealth. In fact, there is a consistent pattern of elite within elite. Within the top 1%, the top 0.2% have the most of it. Now, remember those people we surveyed? Like them, if we think that one needs to own at least a net worth of Rs. 3,25,000 to fulfill the most basic requirements of life, then we need to do something. What if we redistribute wealth in such a way that the bottom 70% of the population gets at least that basic 3,25,000? Where will we get it from? The top 1% has 119 trillion. If even a paltry 30 trillion of that would go to 70% of our population, then they will be able to live a decent life. Now before you scream, that is socialism! Remember that with 89 trillion, the top 1% still remain the proprietors of India's wealth with a share of 40%. That is more than their share in 2000, which was 36.8%. The rich would still be getting richer, but in a manner which helps get people off the street and into proper homes.